Hi guys, welcome to our first ever episode of Passionpreneur 2020. We have our special guest and he's going to share his journey of becoming an online sensation and of course an online mentor for a lot of us. Let's all meet Brian Padilla. Good morning, Jake. So thank you so much for uh, inviting me to your uh, show. And since this is going to be the first show for this year, I am so honored to share my yes. passion and how I can really motivate people who would really become successful or how to start to become an entrepreneur. Brian is actually a nurse, no? so how did you become from being a nurse to become an entrepreneur? So may uh, mindset behind it. That's actually a good question. Uh, thank you for asking. So yes, uh, I'm a nurse by profession. Uh, most people don't really know that exactly. But to be honest, like I didn't really have that passion to become a nurse. So in my case, yeah, uh, I was actually working with some hospitals here in Cebu City. But but suddenly, like uh, a, fr a cousin of mine from New Zealand, uh, ni nashe ka ng task na ko na if interested ba kung work o part-time for niya, para niya. Oh, so, wow. iya kung di gather o ka ng leads online, like ka ng data script, dude ba? So, ako, na-curious ko, iya kong gituluan, so, iya kong gibayran o $50 per hour at that time. Nice. So, gather 1,000 leads, balin lang sa Excel, data script sa online. What year was this when you ka ng accepted work from your cousin? So, that was back at uh, 2010. Okay, uh, ten, ten, marag, halos 10 years ago. No? Yeah, 10 years ago. Then, suddenly, like, there ako naka come up na, ah, okay, because before, well, to be honest, like, um, having a salary as a nurse here in the Philippines, grab education ng gamay. So, the funny thing was that, karun, to be honest, like, gamay siya sweldo, so nangita ko other ways na maka-earn sa dito. Now, can you share to us, bro, um, Bray, what are you currently doing for uh, people can connect? You. Thank you for asking, bro. So, right now, actually, uh, I started this two years ago. I've been traveling around the Philippines, helping real estate agents yeah. generate leads para sa ilang, sa ilang sales, para yep. sa ka yun lang sales. Naka-appeal pa dito seminar pa dito sa Manila na it, it helped me ka nang uh, realize ba na unsa mo dito ako ang buhat to as a digital marketer. So, ingon mo sila na, yeah, a lot of digital marketers karon focus ra kayo e-commerce. Yep. So, on my case, nangita ko ka ng blue ocean within the red ocean. So, with the blue ocean strategy is, you really need to find, well, you really need to find a market na that is not so saturated. It's it's a big ocean. Oh, it's a big ocean. Dito ko naka-realize na mas dako ko matabang sa real estate agents. Seeing people na being happy after attending the training, seeing their personality and professionally how they grew. So, murag naka-motivate sa ako. So, karoon, naka-join ko training ni Peng Jun. Iya kong giing na na, like, uh, meditate, then think how you can contribute to the world. What was the time that you said, oh, I want to do this na full time? What motivated me during the transition was the freedom itself. Yes. Like, what na magbuot na ako to come in early. It was the motivation of financial freedom. Yeah. How did you define financial freedom during your time? I've read this book ni Robert Kiyosaki, okay. na Rich Dad Poor Dad. Then, namun to siya yung four quadrants, mana employed yep. to self-employed. Yep. So, dito ko naka-realize na I need to do the transition from employed to self-employed. Nang sa okay. one, one to two, one to siya. So, then, after Anna, like, dito na ko na come up na, na you can really earn this uh, online. online. But you really need to put in the time. Kaya ikaw, Rabia. So, after that, uh, what was your deciding factor na Murat? Okay, pwede na kumukit. To be honest, ni, mas dako ng income sa part-time versus akong full-time. Yes, so, so, so Murat, usag yan siya. That's, that's, really that's the main deciding sign. factor. So, kung man, sige ko, Gwey, like, I, I ask a lot of kanang guidance. Yeah, to po kanang simala. Just to ask, <laughs> to be enlightened lang ba? Kaya, dili biya, lalim ang kanang transition ba? Yes, so. Dili pwede usara ka client, at least for the kain. Kaso na yung mawa ko sa, di iga pong ka ma, yep. di iga so, pong okay ka zero. So mo lagi like uh, dito na akong deciding factor na quit ko at ako sa resignation sa so, pagkatag ng resignation shagit ko na yeah kano mo salip kaya mo na kabasa mo ko na sometimes uh, during this big transition daw you really need to celebrate success daw after a year dito sa ko na cut ano na did you challenge <laughs> so what were the challenges that you faced after you resigned so number one uh, salary bro 
uh, since dilip man jukay ko inga napaka inchon before like how online payment works okay like, PayPal, Pioneer, so many sila like what do they alam na so na sige ko cut on man kana ganing fear na di kani ka mabayaran but along the way every client na naku naku makuha i learned a lot mga new skills if an opportunity presents itself it's always best man go to say yes then learn the work after mo yeah. na ang gisulti per me ni uh, Brandon oh, Adam yeah Brandon Brand Brand yeah so so dito ko naka come up sa idea na Okay, okay ra, pa man ko ialaman eh, but I think this skill would really benefit me later on ba. So okay, dito, good, very man, good. But at the same time, you really need to be honest sa mong client na, hindi ka kabaw. What can you advise sa kung gusto sa they're currently in a job, who want to start earning online? Thank you for that question bro. So, karun magod na year or maybe three years ago, dagan namo kay mga trainings online dagan na kay mga uh, let's say digital marketing trainers na oh, mga jobs, free seminars mas may mga na you go to to people na na experience and at the same time you learn from them right away yeah mas shorten in other words if the learning curve is one year you can do it maybe two months three mm. months na. so ang ang challenge lang jud karon bro when it comes to sa mga tao mga is they have this limiting belief na when they do the transition from online, makuwarta din sila dayon. Kay sometimes. So mainly, it's more about uh, reasons, their why. Uh, no? Their why, jud. Kanang you go to these people just to shorten your learning curve. But if that's let, first, yeah, that's the first. If wala jud, uh, you go to like uh, certain blogs from online jobs at PH, na okay. Upwork. Okay. Taga na kay mga articles and resources na makita ni mo sa Facebook, sa YouTube, sa Google mismo, like. Dili na gani mo imposible na jud kay na dili ka makaton go to free sites just to read lang sa para na kay background then go to networking events kay for when, me when he says networking dili ka to mga lingin ha <laughs> yeah uh, so meet, meetings for mga online job uh, online job work, workers or kanang at you go to a workplace and you meet people who are doing it um, already Success always starts outside your comfort zone. Yes. So if you're it's not very true, if you're not willing to talk to people, kanang how learn from them. So did you come grow? Yeah. Ang I think ang number one siguro na na kinanglan siguro for people who would want to do the transition is how resourceful are you? Yeah. The keyword here is ang consistency sa tao. Yeah. So if dilit lang kamo give up from month one, two and three, man makita ka si mong perfect client. So, that's the start sa imuhang uh, entrepreneurial journey. Dun. From that area where they do research and they start earning money, what do you advise them? Would they should should they get a mentor na or should they join a kanang mga club? Mm. Uh, paid ba? Paid Would you yes. advise? Oh? For me, like uh, na or you tell me, nagyapo yung pros and cons. Uh, sometimes kani like sometimes clients would really want to invest. In your uh, for the skills na sila mga BA, sila okay. mga digital yes. marketers. So, if you're really just transparent sa mga client, some clients would really purchase these courses ah, for you. Okay. As a passion pinor now, uh, what is your schedule? What does your schedule look like? Thank you for asking, bro. So, akong schedule is very erratic. Yep. Uh, because kanang as an entrepreneur, mga god like if na client meeting, mojo tayo in priority yes, at the end of, of the course, day. Yeah. Uh, mga deadlines. So it's so erratic, jud. Uh, so karon like I'm forming a daily routine jud na mura kani kag consistent imong yes. day. So number 1, uh, when I wake up, na koy kanang gitawag nato na affirmation. Yep. Uh, it's like a, a declaration like how you want to see your day, how you want to see your like uh, target goal. You need to be grateful on the things around you, yep. okay? Para gani mamusaka imong mood. Yep. But once I open my laptop, work mode jud na. So then I always have this kind of uh, planner and organizer. Na so what you have mga deadlines, you things to do, para na checklist. Like you really need to have this routine, just na para gani uh, and checklist para masuot yung mga goals. Uh, how different is it being an entrepreneur now? Katong nurse ka sa una. Uh, so I think the difference was like um, financial stability, siguro. Like sometimes when it comes to when I was a nurse, kibaw na ka na. Ah, it ako makuha next month, two months, two months from now, it na sa. Karon magud it's so erratic na in ma, in the second month ako ikot maern, man, another month pato sa tura. So, but at the end of the day, uh, even though you got new contracts, new projects, it's always best magud na kanagaling 
you you're, you get excited na mura ganing saka ang spirit sa project sa kanang lahi lahi excitement then especially if people will trust you lahi jud ang feeling man so there's more fulfillment kaysa sa employee niya yeah. okay what what makes you do what you do I'll be honest like years before for nako is ang why nako is the money itself from katong nurse to freelancer kanang pa earn gud ako ikog na earn makagasto ka ni tanan-tanan but usually it starts there diba? yeah it starts there but as you as you learn along the way it's always best man good na to realize jud kung unsa jud imong real why that blinded by that uh, financial or income but for me Having said that, like even though nan kagan na kaya ko earn online, ako yung number one advice for people who do that transition is always save, because sometimes uh, if clients will let you go, man zero ka, so zero, goodbye jan. So yeah. akong advice is always save at least three to six months. Okay, thank you so much, Bray. Uh, my, my really main take for this episode is just really um, trying to find yourself more more di ba more finding yourself as an entrepreneur and if it's really asking yourself if this is for you so right um, what's your um, final message for those who want to be digital nomads or online or home based people thank you for asking bro so for me ang ako yung number one advice is this uh, you need to be really resourceful uh, find credible sites to read para lang like you have a, a a quick overview on what you are uh, getting into. Uh, second is you need to find a mentor that's really credible. At yep. the same time, if you really want to shorten your learning curve, yeah, uh, because finding a good mentor, mga god, is kanang is your short way. Is your actually is actually your shortcut to success. Mm-hmm. Kaya dili na kamo tumbling ug mga sayop. So those two steps are very important. And lastly is is how you how motivated are you to become really consistent just thank you so much bro um uh, can you tell our audience where to reach you how to find you online thank you so you can find me uh to my in my website it's brianpadilla.io and if you are a real estate agent manager who wants to generate more leads in your brokerage firm uh, you can join magnetormarket.com I'm always uh, in Manila, in Cebu, Cagayan, and Davao. And I'm also promoting this uh, Smash It video challenge for real estate agents who want to become video marketers because it's the, it's the new, new trend. It's a new trend to how you really want to sell your properties through videos. And sometimes when people see a person speak consistently about a topic, dali mong good siya ma-identify na that person is the authority, the authority on that uh, specific topic. So for me, that's the uh, new program that I'm actually promoting this year. Okay. Thank you so much, bro. I, I learned a lot and I hope a lot of you are encouraged in to being or transitioning from being an employee to become a part-time then eventually a full-time entrepreneur if you want to. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time, if you're watching this in YouTube, please click that bell and click subscribe so that you'll be notified for new episodes. And of course, if you're watching in all the other social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, please like and of course follow. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, this is Sir Chubby. If you have questions or you are confused about something, just just message us or um, comment down below. Again, like we always say in Passionpreneur, do what you love. Love what you do. You, you are, are a passionpreneur. passionpreneur. Babush! <laughs>